Hey guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am super excited because we're going to be doing my monthly project pan update. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get into it. All right, guys. So we have made some very exciting progress this month. Um, so I'm going to start with the products that I've made no progress on and then get to the most exciting updates. So let's just jump right in. The first one is the Laura Mercier blush. I am not seeing any progress with this one. I'm sure I did. Um, I am definitely quite light handed with this one because it is very pigmented. So I am careful when I use this and perhaps that's why I'm not seeing any progress yet but I'll keep working on it. This is kind of the oldest product in my collection, so I am trying to really, I do at least want to hit pan on it. I know I've gotten a lot of use out of this, but I do want to hit pan at the very, very least. So I'm definitely gonna keep working on this one, but still, I haven't really seen any progress, but not to be discouraged. The next product was just introduced at the end of last month, so at the end of January. And this is the Lawless Forget the Filler Definer Liner. So this is my favorite lip liner. This is what I have on today. I just really like this formula. It's not too creamy. It's not too stiff and waxy. It's just right. It's absolutely perfect. The tone is beautiful. It's the most beautiful pinky nude lip liner. I just enjoy it so much. That's why I kind of put it in because I noticed this is definitely my most used. So... I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to use it up because I could. So I've definitely made a little bit of progress. I randomly chose the wording, um, the Smooth Clyde Ultra Pigmented description. Uh, that was to be my marking point. So at the start of the month, the lid hadn't reached the S quite yet. And now I've lost the S and the M. So we have made some progress on this guy. Okay, next up is the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. We have made some progress. So the beginning of February, I was right here and I am now down to here. So I've used a good chunk of this product. I try to keep my setting spray collection very, very minimal. I just, I don't feel like I need a lot of setting sprays. I don't feel like they factor into my makeup nearly as much as some other things. I have what's good, I know what's good, and I really stick with those. It's not like foundations where I'm always trying to find the best of the best of the best. So for that reason, I do tend to keep my setting spray collection very minimal. This is a great one. It's just that I don't uh, reach for it nearly as much as I reach for my Charlotte Tilbury or my Urban Decay or my MAC Fix Plus. So that's why I'm trying to use this one up and I have made some progress so I'm pretty excited about that. All right the next product that we have seen some progress on as well is my e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. I'll pop some photos up on the screen. You can see where I started in January and then February and then March so we don't have much of this liner left. I broke it though. When I was trying to measure how much I had left, I did get too aggressive and I guess I, I broke it. So I'm going to try to use it up as much as I can. Hopefully I can still use it all, but I'm going to have to be really careful um, because I did break it off at the base. So hopefully I can still get some use out of this. Hopefully I can finish it up as best I can before I do fully run out. But Based on my tally so far, I think I'll be able to have this finished by the end of March. So we're going to keep working on that. All right, the next product is the uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. So this one is another one that I just put in at the end of January. I just figured it was another product I'd like to use up, so why not throw it in? I've made the littlest bit of progress. Progress is still progress, but I've only made the littlest bit. So this is one I'm definitely gonna work on in the coming months. And I definitely think I'm gonna have this one done uh, at some point this year, but definitely with some pretty consistent use. I'm thinking maybe May? I don't know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, so that's where we landed on that one this month. The next product is from MAC, and this is my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This one I didn't notice a ton. I definitely kind of got away from it a little bit and kind of wandered back to my Milani. I just think it's better, 
but this is still a great product. I just think the Milani is so much better, but I did use this today and then, um, so yeah, I noticed my pan on the bottom is getting a little bit bigger, but I've really been trying to work around the inside as well to kind of wear that down. So I haven't made a ton of progress. This is one of those that I'm not even sure if I'll be able to finish up by the end of the year, but at the very least, we're going to have a lot of progress on it. Okay, so three products left. Next is my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. We hit pan. We have baby pan right there, right there. Um, I was so excited about that. So this one I knew, I had a feeling I was going to hit pan on this one probably this year. Sorry, I knew I would hit pan fairly quickly. So this one wasn't the most surprising, but I'm still really excited that I did hit pan and it's definitely motivating and I'm really seeing the rings on the bottom as well. So I feel like, um, I feel like we're making really good progress on this one. There's no doubt about that. The one that excited me the most this month, if you've been, if you saw my intro video, if you saw my update at the beginning of February, you know that the product that I was pretty convinced I would never, ever, ever hit pan on is my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. But you guys, I did it. I did it. I did it like a week ago. I was so excited. I never, I literally thought this was bottomless. I didn't think it was possible to hit pan. So this was very exciting. And yes, yeah, so I'm definitely more motivated to keep working on it. Uh, keep finishing it. I <laughs> was so excited about this one. Um, yeah, so that's probably my most exciting update. So we definitely have pan in there. Goal for the end of March is going to be a much larger amount of pan, but fingers crossed, I'm sure we'll be able to do it when you use it every day. You see impressive progress. And the last product, we have an empty. This is my NARS uh, Creamy Radiant Concealer. It's done. So this was a mini, but this lasted such a long time. I think I was already pretty low when I put it into the project, but with this one, it just never ever, I could not see the end. And then I ended up taking the stopper out, which by the way, if you know a really good way or the proper way to remove a stopper from a product, let me know down below because I injured myself when I was trying to do it because I'm pretty sure I wasn't doing it right. But I've scraped the sides. I've taken the stopper out. The, I cannot get any more product out of this. So I think it's time to say a proper send off. So we have finished this one. But yes, so because I already did throw in an extra concealer, I'm not going to add anything into the project at this time. I might add something when I finish something else though. We'll see. That is it for this month's update. I feel like this was a super successful month. I am so excited. We have two pans. We finished a product. What a great month. I am so excited about that. But that is it for me today. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload at least three new videos every single week. And that's it for me today. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.